To create a project in WordFast, click on File menu and then Create Projects. A box pops up requiring a name, a name and a language bear for the project you're creating. You have a full list of languages, as you see, but make sure to, to use the exact language variety. If your project is in American English, only choose English United States. Because if you choose a source or a target local that is different than that of the translation memory you're creating or a, or a TM sent to you by the client, your file will not be able to extract results from the TM. So save your time by double checking your language pair. I'd also recommend naming the project after its language bear, so you can recognize it easily in future tasks. And then click on OK. Now, click on Preferences button to expose yourself to some of the basic functions of WordFast. If you're creating a translation memory from scratch, click on the Create TM button. Browse to the location where you want to save it, and I would recommend to dedicate a separate folder for that TM because WordFast actually creates three files for one TM. Let me show you. Now you have a newly created TM. The second scenario is, the client sends you an already created TM, so you have to, to click on the Add TM button, browse to the location where, where you saved it. Oh, well, let's assume that this is the client TM, and perhaps we want to we wanna rename the files inside. Okay. So this is the client TM and then okay. Now we have two, two, two translation members. You can add any number of translation members you want to. Uh, one thing, if you wanna use a TM as a reference and not as a container for your newly added translation, just make sure to tag this checkbox under read only. So I'm assuming you you want to use the client TM as read only because it will be already uh, backed with translation and then apply and then okay. <laughs> 